Here's the truck I just got in, 2016 389, 290 wheelbase, 500 horsepower pack car, 1850 torque. Pretty typical of my spec. Uh, got the polished surround on the radiator, in the grill. Uh, nice Texas bumper without the tow hook holes. If you need that, I can put those on. Uh, behind the bumper, it's already pre-wired for fog lights if you want to do fog lights, and that way it's all wired into the dash. Uh, no cutting and splicing, all, all weatherproof connectors make it nice. Two-piece windshield. This truck's got four horns, five lights. Low Pro 24 rubber. 13.2 front axle and springs with a three and a half inch drop, uh, wide track axle. I put a little bit wider axle in it so it'll turn a little better. Air disc brakes with aluminum hubs. It's sitting on 10 and three quarter frame rails. 160 amp alternator. Heated fuel filter with the water separator in it. Remote lube. It's got your clutch, clutch linkage, your release bearing, cross shafts. And then you saw the jump start post there, should you ever need that. Big battery disconnect. See it hiding in there. I've got three batteries in the box, of course, polished air tank. You see the Phoenix LED light kit. 15 inch premium air cleaners. Power heated mirrors and spots. Seven inch exhaust. I chrome the lower elbows also, that's an option. Polish cover on the def tank. Polish tanks. Four straps on both sides. Locking toolboxes on both sides of the frame. Deck plates. Chrome stand for your hoses. Two work lights, two load lights. All in fifth wheel. Of course, it's air slide. Low air leaf suspension. Polished mud flap hangers, spring loaded. 24 inch polished Hodge built quarters. Fuel tanks are 110 and 135. I've got sending units in both tanks. Um, switch on the dash that you can check, check the fuel level in both. All of my fuel lines are Ar Arctic Wrap, in case you ever run up north. Rear ends are Dana DSP 40s. I've got the heavy drive line for the because it's got the 1850 torque. Of course, it's got the 1850 transmission. I take the uh, cast iron bell housing off and put an aluminum one on, save a little weight there. Brake drums are 16 and a half by seven. They're, they're the little bit bigger one, a little bit better stopping power. Not really any more money, but just part of, part of the process to make it right. Uh, full synthetics in the rear ends, the transmission, the hubs.
336 rear end with this low pro 24 rubber that transmission um, just the perfect combination for pulling power and fuel mileage of course there's a dump valve for the rear suspension Good look at the, the headlights with the HID bulbs. It's just a nice classic mean look right there. Platinum interior. Got the wood grain on the dash and the doors. Black leather seats. It's Peterbilt's premium seat. Six adjustments. Dual zone heat. These seats have swivel. They have swing away armrest. As we all know in these 389s, it's a little narrow between the seats. So that makes it nice from getting front to back. Power windows and locks. There's your mirror controls. Nice shot of the main instrument panel there. Leather wrap steering wheel, tilt and telescope. There's a look at your switch panel, there's 17 switches. That second switch from the right, and that's that's for the chicken lights. Again, on a factory harness, you're not going to have any issues with your light kit. Uh, your spare, your spares are already wired up. Uh, you just have to have to give them something to go to. Nine chrome bezel gauges, and then it's got six virtual gauges, 23 total. speakers there that's how you know it's the premium sound package uh, it's got the little tweeter and then uh, it's a five by seven this thing just sounds great uh, factory installed cover CV gives you this nice housing and it's all all factory wired nothing you're gonna get with storage compartments on both sides and the header The headliner's two-toned. Black carpet, front to back. Storage under the bottom bunk. Half of the top bunk folds up out of the way. Makes it easy to sit up on the bottom bunk. Closet. Microwave stand. TV. Of course, I put the workstation in them. Slide out desktop. Great for doing your logs or your paperwork. Hanging file folder. Or just storage, and there's a bottom one. Power outlet there, drink holder, storage tray. Storage all around the top.
all your sleeper controls. Hanging closet for your clothes. Refrigerator. Shut the curtain. See the swivel on the seat. The best of the best. If you got any questions about this truck, any of my other trucks, financing trades? stock every every current model of Peterbilt there is you can reach me anytime 918-808-5638 my name is Steve Carboni and be glad to answer any of your questions